this video we will review how to place an order from the admin panel. The first thing you'll need to do is go to sales and orders. Here you'll see a list of all the orders that have been placed. To start a new one, just click create new order. This should take you to a list of your customers. For this example, we're just going to use Dr. Test customer. And if you have multiple sites, you'll have to choose which store view to use. So we're just going to use our default store view. Once it loads, you'll be taken to a screen where you'll be able to see the customer's current activities. So you'll be able to see what is in their shopping cart, wish list, last order items, etc. For our purposes, we're going to go over how to add products to an order. So first, let's try it by SKU. If you know the SKU of your product, then you can just enter it here. Enter quantity and add to order. And here you can see that we have two test products that were just added to the order. The other way you can do it is by clicking the add products and this will actually show you all the products you have in your store. We'll just go ahead and select our test product again, leave the quantity as one and then add selected products to cart. And there you can see the quantity was updated. So we have three test products in our cart now. Let's go ahead and continue this order. Okay, if we scroll down, we'll be able to see the billing and shipping address. This customer already has them entered, so we don't have to worry about adding that. A little bit further down is the payment method. We'll just select check and money order for this example. And then you will have to select a shipping method as well. We'll just use our fixed flat rate. Once that is all set, all you need to do is either scroll down or click this to submit order. And when the page reloads, you should get a message saying that the order has been successfully created. The customer will be notified and you're good to go. Thanks for watching.